all right what's up everybody i just got done recording the process to get a gen 3 to a fellow 60e straightforward now it's time to get it into the obs i do suggest going ahead and get new motor mounts uh it may look hard but it is doable it just takes a little bit of time i have a video on my channel how to do it Obviously, right, so you get uh, two wrenches, tape them together, or zip tie them together, and go between the lower control arm and frame. And you'll be able to get the the nuts that are in the back of these bolts. And you want to go ahead and reach your hand through here and take them off with like an impact or have someone else take them off. All right, straightforward. Oh, and also go ahead and switch out the uh, transmission mount. It's the same one as the 95s and newer OBSs. And you can use this original cross member. Don't forget, my truck is lowered. So I went ahead and got the speed engineering oil pan. Obviously, you have to cut up the windage tray in order to make this work. Let's see what else. And you need the dirty dingo mount. Just use a dirty dingo mount. It's like the, the main one everybody goes with. Just so you can slide it back into the bolt. Into this bolt, really for your cross member so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get the dirty dingo mounts on they're the slider ones and yeah i'm gonna get those out all right y'all here's the dirty dingo mounts this is gonna be two videos so i'm gonna have the how to install the dirty dingo mounts into an ls for obs and how to install the entire ls into an obs <laughs> So let's get started with this. All right, so they're all labeled passenger side, which is gonna be this side. So since the engine's facing this way, right over here where the starter would be. That's passenger side. Next up, driver's side. That would be wherever the, I believe the, for this speed engineering oil pan, it's gonna be where the filter is. I did not see any instructions on how to do this. Holy shit. Dang y'all, I just fell off this. <laughs> and oh, that sucked. Y'all just saw me fall. No biggie. So, oh man. Being six foot in gravel, no bueno. Gyro side, I'm guessing the arrow faces forward. Damn. It should be straightforward. I'm mean, gonna do both sides just to show y'all. So there's the four bolts. Damn. And it should slide forward and backwards. There you go. These you wanna put aside with the adjacent nut those aside see there's the other nut because that actually once you put on the plates these go on the actual motor mounts that should be installed on your OBS next up you got the eight uh, bolts and the way they go on is first you go ahead and put in the lock washer so it goes bolt lock washer in your regular washer just like that all right you do have two different types of washers here they are these smaller ones go with the small bolts all right so don't forget the lock washer and the small washer there it is you should have four of the bigger washers they go for the motor mounts. All right, so you want for each side. Install them in. Then you put on the washers and the... All right, y'all. For the bolts that go onto the motor mounts, they are a size 16. And the small bolts to go onto the dirty dingo mounts, they are at 17. 17 and 16, those are the two sockets you're gonna be needing. Just 
driver's side, I'm guessing the air will point to the front. Get one corner and get the other corner. Alright y'all, one thing you don't want to do is tighten them all the way. You gotta make sure it's able to slide. Okay, see? It's just snug. That's all that is. Just snug. Hope y'all getting that. Yeah. Just snug. Just a little bit. There it is. Um... I guess I would go to the other side. If you want, don't want to, just go ahead and skip that part. Make sure you get two corners first. Oh, looks like I'm on with this one. Piece of rock. Take a look at that, y'all. Dirty dingham out, cut a slit here for these bolts. Obviously, I believe this is for like the AC that comes this way. Uh, no, wait, the AC on the trucks are actually down here. So I forgot what these bolts are for. I don't think I'm gonna use them, but yeah, there it is. It has that cut off, this cut off. Obviously, there's nothing back here. Yeah, I don't think it'll be away of the sensor. It'll be fine. Dipstick. I feel like it should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Here's the angle for the dipstick if you want to look at that. Oh, also for the speed engine, you know your pan, you have to cut up the uh dipstick. I'm gonna put that in the description below. You have to cut the actual dip this dip tube and the actual stick. Uh, starter, I do it once it's in the motor. 
headers. I'm gonna use eBay header studs. Uh, obviously, coil packs. I'm using the Schofield headers. So you're gonna need different style uh, spark plug boots. You need ones that go at least to a 45 angle. They're on eBay for cheap. Uh, let's see, intake. It's right there. I'm gonna get it cleaned up. I am using the for these coolant lines. I am using this one, the crossover one. It's fancy. Okay. Oh, there is a dirty dingo mine installation. Obviously, you want to get it over, sit it in, and then slide it back. And then you want to go ahead and use the jack of the transmission and use a cross member. Oh, and yes, y'all, gravel. If I could do it, look at that. If I could do it on gravel, y'all should be able to do it in your garage. Simple as that. <laughs> All right, y'all, for the dirty dingle mounts, once it's already in, slide the bolt right through with your stock motor mounts. There you go. Tighten them up and then after you get your transmission in the right position with your stock um, transmission frame or whatever you call it then you go ahead and tighten up the uh, ones that connect to the motor so you want to tighten up these last but always tighten up these first all right everybody quick little update sorry about the noise I have set in the dirty dingle mounts on the motor mounts. I went ahead and tightened them up before I tightened up the transmission frame. This, you should have all your original hardware. Unless you want to use it for whatever reason, go ahead. Get mine here. Even the single bolt for the transmission mount. Obviously, once you bolt it, bolt. Oops. Once you bolt this up to the original position, then you could go ahead and lift up the transmission into here. Once it's in there, then you tighten up the nut. Once it's in position, then you want to go ahead and tighten up these bolts for the dirty dingle mounts. And that's everything. Oh. Can you see you on the next one. All right, y'all. I went ahead and did the transmission cross member i had to flip it well not really flip it but I had to turn it around and now it's even see this obs has have this mark where it marks the middle this is already the middle and i'm already looking at it middle middle and obviously this mark back here right above the bell housing straight on i didn't nick this side i seen a few other people they hit right here in this area too so that's normal when you're doing a swap. If you're doing it yourself, if you have like a professional shop, whatever, I mean, if you're paying 10 to 15 grand for a less swap, I mean, you better tell them to repaint your truck. <laughs> they do something like that, but I mean, it's my backyard, gravel, wood, what do you expect? Yeah, here it is. Um, next thing I'm gonna do, is obviously tightening up these bolts once i set it down i mean there's still there's still tension here so i'm gonna set it down tighten up these bolts and then go ahead and tighten up the actual uh the, the actual uh, from the dirty dingo mounts to the actual block so yeah there it is y'all for this one um after this the next video is going to be putting in the headers and all the accessories and the ac now stay tuned Y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, the rest of the... Well, I'm not really... Yeah. 
All right, y'all. Uh, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna just be tightening up the bolts for the dirty dingo mount sliders. Um, that's really it. Hope everybody has a good day. Like and subscribe. See, all the bolts are all the way back. Yeah, there it is, y'all. 